The thick lids of night closed upon me, alone at the bill of the aisle by the race. Many caverned, bald, wrinkled a face, and with darkness and silence the spirit was on me to brood and be still. No wind fanned the flats of the ocean or promontory sides, or the ooze by the strand, or the bent bearded slope of the land, whose base took its rest amid ever long motion of crisscrossing tides. Soon from out of the southward seemed nearing a whirr as of wings, waved by mighty van flies, or by night moths of measureless size, and in softness and smoothness well nigh beyond hearing of corporal things. And they bore to the bluff and alighted, a dim discerned train of sprites without mould, frameless souls none might touch or might hold, on the ledge by the turreted lantern, far sighted by men of the main. And I heard them say, Home. And I knew them for souls of the feld on the earth's nether board, under Capricorn whither they'd ward, and I neared in my awe, and gave heedfulness to them with breathings in hell. Then it seemed there approached from the northward a senior soul flame of the like filmy hue. And he met them and spake, Is it you, O oh my men, said they, I, we bear homeward and hearthward to feast on our fame. I've flown there before you, he said then. Your households are well, but your kin linger less on your glory and war mightiness than on dearer things. Dearer, cried these from the dead then, of what do they tell? Your mothers muse sadly and murmur your doings as boys. Recall the quaint ways of your babyhood's innocent days. Some pray that ere dying your faith had grown firmer and higher your joys. A father broods, would I had set him to some humble trade, and so slacked his high fire and his passionate martial desire, and told him no stories to woo him and wet him to this dire crusade. And General, how old art our sweethearts, sworn loyal as doves? Many mourn, many think it is not unattractive to prink them in sable for heroes. Some fickle and fleet hearts have found them new loves. And our wives, quoth another resignedly, dwell they on our deeds, deeds of home, but live yet fresh as new, deeds of fondness or fret, ancient words that were kindly expressed or unkindly, these, these have their heeds. Alas, then it seems that our glory weighs less in their thoughts than our old homely acts and the long ago commonplace facts of our lives, held by us as scarce part of our story and rated as naught. Then bitterly some, was it wise now to raise the tomb door for such knowledge? Away! At the rest, fame we prize till today, yet that hearts keep us green for old kindness we prize now a thousand times more. Thus speaking, the trooped apparitions began to disband and resolve them in two. Those whose record was lovely and true bore to northward for home, those of bitter traditions again left the land. And towering to seaward in legions, they paused at a spot overbending the race, that engulfing, ghast, sinister place, with a headlong they plunged to the fathomless regions of myriads forgot. And the spirits of those who were homing passed on rushingly like the Pentecost wind. And the whirr of their wayfaring thinned and surceased on the sky, and but left in the gloaming sea mutterings and me.